What's up, amigos? It's the Project Maker Minute with Chris Lewitt. As you may know, I'm the former number one for Cornell University, pro circuit player, elite junior development coach, and author and educator, author of The Secrets of Spanish Tennis and the Tennis Technique Bible. Well, I wanted to round out the week, and I don't think the Project Maker Minute would be complete if we didn't do a little Tony Nadal wisdom. And I wanted to share with you guys some thoughts from Uncle Tony, one of the legends of Spanish tennis on character development and how to develop strong character in your athletes or in an athlete. And I got this from uh, a course that I took with, with Tony. And this is actually a small book that, that Tony wrote about his method. It's more like a pamphlet, like a extended handout but it, it includes some very good wisdom. And I wanted to share a piece about humility and character. And Tony says, it's important that we have humbleness and never thinking that we are good enough and accepting that improvement and improving is hard. For instance, if the serve didn't work in a match, the solution is to practice it more on the court instead of blaming the wind, the balls, or the diet. Look for solutions that depend on you, the player, and don't waste energy on blaming external elements that just create a misconception that everything in failure is determining and that it is never our fault. In other words, don't make excuses. And Tony goes on to say, in this, as in this aspect, this is a direct quote, it is advisable not to allow the player to complain, nor put excuses, but to think together what was the mistake, why he has made it, or she, and how we can solve it with the tools we have. And Tony goes on to say we should take a simple approach to solving problems. Simple approach. So, Tony says, another good way of strengthening the attitude is not allowing long faces on our players. A long face implies a complaint and it doesn't help to improve. Tony is notorious for not allowing players to train with a long face. So consider that guys, no long faces, no negativity on the court. Instead, Tony says, we make them identify their own shortcomings and accept them, not to make them resign to them, but to help them progress. So sort of like facing your, your own challenges, facing your adversity and making a commitment to overcome them rather than just complaining or grumbling or making a long face. Tony says, and he continues, the player has to get used to focus on the aspects where he can improve and that depend on him through dialogue and reflection. And his goal has to be a constant improvement. So this is the idea of improving a little bit every day. Very important in terms of humility, Tony says, someone who thinks of himself the best in something, even if he is, abandons the fight to progress. Tony says, someone who thinks of himself or herself, the best in something, even if he is, abandons the fight to progress. Humility is a big part of the Spanish way, building character. Tony continues, almost for everyone, the most effective way of achieving their goals is to persevere, to put effort into it, to be willing to make sacrifices and to have an order and discipline in your approach. These are very common words in the Spanish philosophy. Order, discipline, sacrifice, perseverance. Very common words that you hear in the Spanish lingo. If a kid grows up believing that he is always right, that he is special, that he, is, that he never does anything wrong, he lacks the necessary tools to create his own solutions. This is vintage Tony Nadal. If a kid grows up believing that he's always right, that he is special, that he never does anything wrong, he lacks the necessary tools to create his own solutions. And very famously, Tony tried to keep Rafa, especially young Rafa, as humble as possible. And he never wanted him to believe that he was too special, you know? And I think that's a very important aspect of developing humility and character. Tony, uh, finishes this this part of the of the of his book the first step is to accept that things are hard to get we have to train 
the development of responsibility and the ability of endurement on the kids. Endurement is like this concept of endurance, this concept of suffering, of persevering. So endurance is a, another very powerful and, and important word in the Spanish nomenclature, the tennis coaching lingo. He says they, the kids have to get used to always give their best in order to build a winning character. We have to prepare the player to overcome adversity. So guys, this is um, the crux, kind of the heart of the philosophy of Tony Nadal in terms of his method of building character, what he believes we should teach young players, humility, no excuses, always fighting, always persevering, finding order and discipline in your life and training, never believing you're so special that the world revolves around you. Always, always on, on some level, believing you have, you can improve, you can, you, you have things that you need to get better and then putting in the effort and the sacrifice to get there. This is the Tony Nadal way. And this is something that it resonates all across Spain. It's not exclusive to Tony Nadal, but Tony Nadal is probably the most famous Spanish coach who promotes this type of uh, character building and development. Uh, one thing I will add is Tony believes that having a good character is determinant on your success as a player. He believes that if you have a good character, it will help you succeed, not just in life, but also on the tennis court. Guys, if you like this Project Maker Minute, if you like this wisdom from the great one, Tony Nadal, I happen to know that I'm one of the few people in the world who have a copy of this treatise. And I'm certainly one of the few people in the world who have these extensive notes from Tony Nadal's lectures and videos because all of the video course, all of the videos from the courses that I took, and I paid a lot of money to take, have been taken down. I think they're lost in some in some archive somewhere. I don't know if they'll ever go back online, but they th these were amazing videos that Tony shared, uh, lectures and on-court coaching, all translated into English, uh, which is very rare because Tony typically coaches in Spanish and he t speaks very quickly. So sometimes it's hard to follow. Just incredible archive of videos that are not even, that you can't find online and you can't find, I think, anywhere right now. So. I'm happy to share this knowledge with you, this wisdom. If you're a big fan of Spanish tennis and, and the way they build character in Spain, the way they develop players in Spain, I hope you appreciate the, the value in this, uh, this knowledge. I personally enjoy going through all of my old notes and rediscovering some of these nuggets of wisdom. It's fun for me, and I hope it's fun for you. Guys, if you like this Prodigy Maker Minute, please check out the big show, Prodigy Maker Show. We've got 69 back episode you can you, i know a lot of people are, are digging through those and finding lots of good wisdom in there and we'll try to promote those more uh, and also please consider subscribing we're about to hit 3,000 subs which is like awesome guys i'm really pumped and if you wouldn't mind uh helping us grow this community the more subs we have the more the youtube algorithm helps to promote the, the channel and it brings in more intelligent viewers and and makes for a more robust community which is cool Thank you guys. I'll see you on the next program.